Hi, this is Doug Schooneman from 3D Reshaper. The 3D Reshaper team has created two sample scripts that are useful for creating points commonly used in tank inspection. The first script creates points in the wall of the tank for measuring radius. The second script creates points in the bottom of the tank used for inspecting tank settlement. We will be using the sample file that is packaged with the sample scripts. The file contains meshes of a tank wall and a tank floor made from point cloud data. The first script that we will run will be the one that creates points on the tank walls at a given height for radius inspection. To show the script tool, select Run from the scripting menu. To open the script, we can use the File Open button on the scripting tool as I'm doing here, or we could drag and drop the file onto the tool from the Windows Explorer. Or we could even create a shortcut on our toolbar for the script if this were a script that we wanted to use often. To launch the script, simply press play. The script asks for two parameters, the height of the inspection and how many points you'd like to make. If you make a mistake and don't select the mesh you'd like to use, as I have done here, the script will stop. You can find prompts and information on why the script failed to run in the script output window, which is at the bottom of the script area. If I select the mesh and then launch the script again, we should be all set. I'll enter the number of radials to create, but not the height that I want them at. For the height, I will click on the mesh. Notice that the script execution stops and prompts the operator to take a point on the mesh where the inspection is to be created at. The last step of the script is creating a CSV report. Browse to where you'd like to put the file and give it a name to create it. Here you can see the output of the report is an X, Y, and a Z of each point on the tank wall and a radial distance from the center point. Notice that the points in the tank walls have been created and that we now have a folder in the geometric group with our data in it. The second script that we created does basically the same thing, but instead of creating points in the wall of the tank, it creates points in the bottom of the tank for settlement inspection. The script works almost exactly like the previous one and that you can enter a radius by typing or by clicking on the mesh, and that you need to enter the number of radials. In this case, I'll type in a radius of 75 and 36 points for inspection one point at each 10 degree increment. As before, the last step of the script is creating a CSV report. Browse to where you'd like to put the file and give it a name to create it. Here you can see the output of the report. There is an X, a Y, and a Z for each point on the tank floor. Like the previous example, notice that there is now a folder in the geometric group with our data points in it. Remember that in 3D Reshaper, you can always export the data points as DXF, IGES, or as text files. If you'd like to try writing scripts yourself, there's a Help for Scripts guide installed with 3D Reshaper, along with samples that show many common tasks. There is some very good information available in the scripting section of our forum. If you're not a member yet, I'd encourage you to join. 
you'd like to get the scripts shown in this video, along with the sample data, you can find them in the scripting section of the 3D or Shaper forum. I hope you found this video useful. We'd appreciate your feedback on this video and any ideas you have for other topics that you'd like to see covered. Thanks for watching and have a great day.